Hello everybody and welcome to Grayskull Collectibles Review. We haven't done one in a while but we're going to do more in the future. So today I felt it would be awesome to do a review of one of the coolest new toy lines out right now. I know the hype of six inch figures have been really popular in the last 10 years. When I heard that we were doing Indiana Jones, they were doing Indiana Jones, I was like, I have all the 80s stuff, I have all the 2000s stuff, uh, I have to have these. <laughs> so I have got my hand on a set of five figures from the new wave, and we're gonna look at them today. So let's take a look at them. The first one we're gonna do is Marion Ravenwood. Now, this figure, I was a little worried about it because some of the girl sculpts on Hasbro was a little, little, little Yankee. I didn't care for much of them, but I think they did a great job on Karen's face. So it's like this is a very, very good figure. Um, I've already taken her out of the box, but I was just showing you guys the box first. So we have a cool painted artwork on the side, which is really awesome. I was kind of hoping that when you take all of five boxes, they would make one big picture. They do not. I thought they did. They kind of look like they do, but they don't. Kind of like the Star Wars ones, where they put all the pictures together, the arms, they all make one big picture. I, I kind of think they should have took the next level and did that, because it would have been really cool to set these behind your figures with a nice pose of all of them. But let's go ahead and start looking at her, because you know, you guys won't hear me talk. So, all right, there's Marion Box on the back of the box. Stuff she comes with, picture on the front, new no plastic box, so we got to deal with that forever. So the box is going bye-bye. So here she is, Marion Ravenwood, all in her glorious Cairo outfit, which I was kind of weird they went with this one first and not the white dress, which is classic from the 1980s Kenner line, which I think they'll probably make that figure because that's such a classic shot very you know, very important scene in the movie. But I'm kind of glad we got her too because we didn't get a three inch version of her in the 1980s. So just right off hand, I mean the detail is crazy. I mean the face sculpt is great and the monkey she comes with, this is the coolest part. Check this out. The monkey's tail moves, the monkey's waist moves, the head moves, and the arms move. Asbro, Awesome, dude. Because now she can betray. He can betray her and go. She's in the cut. Yeah, you know, from the movie. So she comes with the frying pan to knock out the uh, the bad guys. So articulation on this figure is really good. She's got she's got really good articulation, feet articulation, knee articulation, hip articulation. She can do some like Street Fighter karate action, which she didn't do in the movie. But you know, when she came with a barrel, you could put her down inside of and hide from the Nazis. So, but but this is her first figure, and if this is the what we're gonna get from this line, I think everybody's gonna jump on board because we need to make vehicles, play sets, everything. So, there you go, Marion Ravenwood. Let's go on to the next one. What do you have for me? Oh, here we go. The main bad guy of the film, Mr. Rene Belloc, in her in his ceremonial outfit. This figure in the 80s was a mellow figure. They never released a three inch version of this, or a regular outfit of this figure. Um, wait, I totally was wrong on that. Excuse me on that one. So we're gonna start over on that one. <laughs> Belloc, he was a mellow figure. They did release a regular version of him on a card, but you did not get him on a card. So, excuse me. And, uh, but the Belloc is the same way. Cool picture on the side. Got all the characters in that first wave, which we know we're getting other ones. I hope they do release the white outfit of him with the hat. That'd be really cool. So let's go ahead and go away from the box and. Hmm? Show the UPC. Why? What for? No. <laughs> My Van of White says no. That's just kidding. No, <laughs> so let's show the figure. All right, here he is, Belloc. This figure is really, really amazing. I mean, the detail on the outfit, the lines, all the detail pattern, fully posable hands, um, headpiece, uh, the, the staff is just beautiful. I kind of wish they would have done some gold plating. I think it would look a little bit better on the, uh, on the on ceremonial garb stuff. But I understand cost keeps the cost down with that with that back metal stuff gets kind of expensive. Uh, the face sculpt is good on Belloc. 
Uh, I'm glad they did this route first on him. I do want the other figure though. Um, don't want to bore you too much with him, but he has same articulation. Now he, he won't be do a lot because his robe does hinder most of the movement. So you can go sideways, you know, like, hey, I'm dancing, you know, but you know, stuff like that. But he's got arm movement, <laughs> he's got head movement. That was a funny dance thing. All right, it's like, look, look at him. Yeah, baby, on the Belloc. And uh, so, Belloc, everybody. And next we get Indy's best friend, Sala. Actually, this is my second favorite figure in the line. I, I know Belloc's cool, uh, Tout's cool, Marion's cool, but for some reason, I really love this figure. I mean, they just gave us Sala the way it was the best character in that part of the movie. That was just unbelievable. And the sculpt on him, once again, the artwork on the side of the box, all the stuff he comes with. Box gone. So, move the box, and here we go. Indy! <laughs> he gets a cool rope, and he gets his shovel, like we're getting, when they're going down to the map room. Once again, he has like Belloc plastic, so you have just so much movement on the legs. Um, turban's really nice. The detail on John Rice Davies' face is great. The shovel has a nice shine to it, so that's really good. Um, I think, I have to say, this is my second favorite one out of the line. I, I, I just, we really needed a good Sala, and now we have a good Sala. So, so maybe we get like a regular street Cairo Sala with the red hat. That would be awesome. I know he's in the new movie with the red hat, the little, you know, I don't know the technical name for the hat, um, but I think we should uh, definitely get some more Sala figures. I could see that, especially because he was in Last Crusade. So, but that's our Sala. And uh, just want to give you guys a heads up on Sala. If you can find them, these figures are amazing. And now we get the Nazi himself, Tout, 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 or however you want to say him, Tout, Tout, Tot, Toot, 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 whatever. Tout, Tot. What do you call him? Tout. Tout. He's Tout. So, no tout about it, he's a good figure. <laughs> They're gonna kick me off this camera, that was pretty funny. So, artwork on the side, box is gone. All right, here we go. This figure is actually really cool. He isn't as good as Sala, but I do like a lot of features about him. The coolest thing about like in the original 1980s figure for the three inch line, his jacket came off and just like that, it's like that in the originals. So you got the cool jacket thing, he's got the cool Nazi up hand with the symbol of the Staff of Ra top melted onto his hand which that was a has <laughs> he did a great job comes with the, the german ruger i mean his hat comes off how cool is that man and tout's glasses comes off but i'm not gonna take them off because it'll be real easy to lose um, really good articulation for his suit um, and even if for all you customizer out there if you want they left a really cool space on the pin on his chest you can actually get us some nice sharp uh paint marker or paint markers or like paint, paint brushes and actually can do your little Nazi symbol on there because I definitely do that on my figure because I, that's where they did that I think that's for the fans so they can really make him look really really cool um, so that's really awesome and on mine I have to tell you I was a little bummed out there is some paint on the side of the head on the hat I was kind of bummed out about that but you know, what do you get? You get a cool figure, and he doesn't have, he has good joints, no freeze up stuff like we saw in the Dungeon Dragons video did, but this is a really, really good figure, and a cool thing about him, I wish they would've came with Belloc, but we get the screaming, melting face tout. How cool is that? It's like, ah, I, gotta, I gotta find another figure now so I can make a second figure. Damn you ass, bro. But, all right, so this is tout, great figure, and he comes with an extra hand. So you can cover up his uh, staff of raw hand. So it's pretty cool. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video because I'm having a blast. So, all right, the man of the hour. <laughs> Mr. Harrison Ford himself. Hasbro blew it out of the water. So I, out of all the Han Solo figures from Star Wars, the likenesses have not been that good. There has been a few good ones at the end of the line, like the Force Awakens one and all that stuff like that in the Archive series. Yeah, this figure is... It's, any Indiana Jones fan has to have this figure. So, I mean, it's uh, uh, crazy. Is there a satchel on him? Mm -hmm. Okay, because see, I didn't know this. I just saw on the back of the package, he comes with his carrying satchel. I, I, when I opened mine, it was already on him. It wasn't actually in the package. So 
they didn't put it in a baggie. So I just now noticed this for the first time, he does have a little satchel. So I'm actually more excited now because that's cool as heck. So let's throw this box away. All right, all right. Look at this figure, everybody, guy. Oh man, yeah. Makes me want every Indiana Jones character ever. <laughs> so why are you making fun of me? You guys making fun of me? <laughs> All my people are making fun of me. I love Indiana Jones. This is like one of my favorite shows. So <laughs> that's my son. He called me a nerd. Did you hear that? Abuse. All right. So you get your standard Indy. He's got the the cool thing about this figure. He's got leather weathering. Like his jacket's actually been like he was like. It's older. It's got some like cool freaking weathering on it. It's his hat does not come off, which I am very happy about this because we are getting other Indy Jones Indy figures that have the hat not comes off. This one I didn't want the hat to come off because I wanted to make the figure perfect, and that's why this figure has to stay like this. The holster comes with the pistol, his normal classic pistol. He's got the regular whip. He's got the normal whip that's rolled up, which does have a flap on the side um, that holds on to it. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I've had no. I have no no way to get this on him. He, it does not stay. I wish they would have made the um, piece a little easier to use, but I cannot get this to attach to Indy, so it kind of sucks for me on that. That's why this piece is hanging right here. I've tried and tried and tried for hours, and I just can't get to stay. So I think that's the only thing on this figure that I'd have to recommend that sucks. But hey, someone I'm sure can like tack it with glue or something, but then if you have it on his, on his belt, then he has this one, it won't look right. So, but the, the whip's really cool. It's movable, like you can stretch it out. Um, he's got his bag I just found out that was actually on him inside the package, so that's pretty cool. I didn't put it on there. And he comes with all kinds of different hands and all different like whip hands and guns hands and fully posable. He's a really nice figure. The cool, one of the cool things he also comes with, the idol. This is awesome. The detail on the idol is awesome. You can actually get it to stick. I had it earlier on there, and look at that. How cool is that, man? Whew. Need a little, need a little altar now, so you can have his little hands like. Yeah, whatever. You know, you know what I'm doing. So, you know what I'm doing. But all right. <laughs> so all you Indiana Jones fans, I hope that uh, that you like what I show you here. We got some tout action, some Indy action. Yeah, get some cool posing here. The, with the cape on the back, makes him a little top heavy. Got his mask. Oh, there he goes. Sala. Marion. Or, oh, Belloc. Marion. If you can find this wave, guys, I suggest you totally, totally get this line because this is the beginning. I just pre ordered my Donovan from Last Crusade. I just pre ordered my Club Obi Wan Indiana Jones. And I know we're getting the Temple of Doom. Indiana Jones. I know we're getting short round, so sky's the limit on this line. We can do Mala Ram. Uh, who else are they coming out with, Max? Uh, oh, that the guy that watches over the Grail. Yeah. They're coming out with him. Oh, I, I can't remember his name. Uh, I think it was name. Yeah. He's the guy with the red hat, the red hat and the mustache, and he's all like, you know, Where he fights him on the boat. Yeah, because you're like we were protectors of the Grail. They're coming out with him. If they're making that figure, we're gonna see Marcus Brody. We're gonna see everybody. So let's. You know, we might even see a Hitler figure. Doubt it. No, no Hitler figure. But custom. Custom. But that would be a good custom. Get a red skull body, make a Hitler figure to put your tout next to. How cool is that, guys? Not telling you to make a Hitler figure because that's wrong. But I'm just telling you this will make your Indiana Jones line. How cool would that be to have all that? Maybe have him holding the book like he's in Indiana in, a, in the Last Crusade when when he hands him the book and Hitler signs the book. How cool would that be? That would be awesome. So, all right, guys. And also the coolest part about I messed up my cinematographer's little area here he's gonna get mad at me so but the coolest thing about this toy line is too is I don't know if they're gonna do this with future waves which I hope they do but you can build the Ark of the Covenant this is awesome guys I mean who would have thought you get the cool Ark of the Covenant I wish it had a gold leafing or some kind of vac metal gold on it like the original 80s toy did but I'm okay with it I'm, I'm very happy with it. I mean, it's fully posable. The sticks can come out that you can carry them. And you know, the cool thing about it is um, the lid comes off. Check this out. It's so beautiful. 